When you open Tableau Public, you'll see this welcome screen. There are several different options here. You can open up your most recent workbooks in this corner right section. You can see more training options, or if you scroll down, you'll see some sample data sets if you don't have one to work with. Definitely check out this section called Viz of the Day. Every day, we pick a visualization that someone in the Tableau Public community made. It's a great way to see what other people are doing and learn great tips and tricks. You can subscribe to Twitter, Facebook, or by email. When you're ready to connect to your data, click on the Open Data button and select your data file. If your data file has multiple tables, such as Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and so forth, you'll need to pick which one you want. Finally, the answer to Step 3 should be yes if you followed the steps in the data structure video. Once Tableau loads the data, you'll see this view, which is called the worksheet. On the left-hand side, you'll see all of your data fields. These are the column headers from your data set. All of them are usable just by clicking and dragging with your mouse. You can also edit the properties of any item by right-clicking it and selecting Default Properties. You can rename fields, individual items within fields, or even sorting options. If it's a number, you can change the number properties to include or remove decimals, add percentage signs, or currency symbols. On the right-hand side, we have our canvas. This is where you drag fields to. You'll see a columns and a rows section. Let's actually give this a shot. If we drag the closing ceremony date onto rows, you'll see we get all of the years listed in rows, sort of like a y-axis. Nothing is ever set in stone in the canvas. I can actually just use my mouse and drag it to columns, which lists them in separate columns like an x-axis. You can also drag fields to the canvas area itself. Tableau will automatically add the field to the correct shelf. Once you drag a field to one of the shelves, Tableau starts plotting the data for you. Everything on this section is called a mark, whether it's a circle, a bar, or a line. Anytime you want to modify these marks, you'll want to interact with this marks card. You can click on any of these items, such as color, in order to modify color, size to modify size, or label if you would like to modify a text label that goes on the individual marks. You can also drag data fields onto the marks card. Let's try that by building a new sheet. To create a new sheet, simply click on this first tab right here. Let's take a look at the number of medals won by athletes in each country. Now, maybe I want to break apart each bar for each country by year and give each year a different color. I can do that by dragging my date field directly onto color, like so. Whenever you click and drag any field, you'll see an orange box that highlights where you can drop this field onto, whether it's pages, filters, the marks card, or columns or rows. If I decide I don't actually want to add year onto color, I can use the undo button up in the upper left hand corner. Alternatively, you can also just simply drag the year field off the marks card entirely. Now, let's say you've built a series of worksheets. You'll want to make a dashboard to combine all of them together. Create a dashboard by clicking on the second button at the bottom. The dashboard interface has the same concepts. You'll see on the left your list of available worksheets that you've created. On the right is the canvas space you can drag those sheets onto. Simply drag these sheets out onto the dashboard. You'll see a shaded area that denotes where the sheet will fall, and Tableau defaults to this tiled style interface. If you'd like, you can use floating items instead, or a combination of the two. To add new items as floating, simply click the box here. If you have an item on your canvas already that you want to make float, simply select the item, and then check the floating box in the lower left-hand corner.
In the middle left are a series of objects you can add to your dashboard, such as text boxes, web pages, and images. This should give you an idea of how to work with the interface in Tableau, both in worksheet and dashboard modes. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at social at tableausoftware.com.